Hi everyone! Oh, thank you so much for coming back for yet another video with me, Adrian Lee, the Wandering Art Historian. I hope you've been enjoying our art snacks. I have been having a great time, so thank you for coming back again and again to have these wonderful moments where we can just uh, savor some delectable bites of art history. What are we going to talk about today? Ooh, okay, so today we're gonna to talk about Rene Magritte. And did you know that he had a very weird fascination with men in bowler hats? Okay, where, where do you start with after a sentence like that, right? Okay, so look at this painting. This is a very classic Magritte painting that you've probably seen before. It's titled The Son of Man from 1964. Okay, it gets parodied a lot. It's used in advertising and marketing. But see, the thing is, Magritte kept using this kind of figure with wearing a, a, a trench coat and a bowler hat and a lot of his artwork, like a lot. A lot of his artwork okay and we're not a hundred percent sure why okay so let me just throw out a couple of suggestions we have some hypotheses if you will um, so Magritte loved pop culture believe it or not he's like me he loved the pop culture of his time magazines pulp fiction novels films and one of his favorite film series um, had these plain clothes police officers that I guess would solve mysteries or whatever, or catch bad guys, I assume. Um, and they would all wear these um, dark overcoats and boulder hats. So some art historians think maybe he's alluding to his favorite film series in a weird way, okay? Another hypothesis is that he grew up pretty solidly middle class, okay? Um, and so some suggest that Magritte is making kind of a snarky comment onto the rat race of the bourgeois lifestyle, like the, the middle class uh, falling into that routine of never ending. You, you wake up, you go to work, you come home, you go to bed only to just do it over it, the repetition and oh, is there a life in that? Oh, whatever. Okay. Um, but again, we don't know. We do know that Magritte had a very dark sense of humor. Okay. He was very snarky. Um, he loved literature. He loved wordplay. Some of his favorite authors were Edgar Allan Poe, Jules Verne, Lewis Carroll. And that also kind of suggests an element of mystery because a, a bowler hatted man in a dark trench coat or overcoat is kind of mysterious, especially if you put something in front of his face obscuring his identity. And just to give you an example of how frequently he uses this motif, here are just six more examples, okay? So there are more, trust me, but this weird figure comes up again and again and again in his artwork. Wonder what it means. I wonder, do you have any thoughts? Do you have any ideas what it could mean? You better comment. Comment on this video what you think it means. I'm asking, you better tell me. Thank you for joining me for this incredible art snack. I hope you had fun. We're going to try and solve this Magritte mystery. Um, in the meantime, while we're solving this mystery, check out the blog for more art historical content, thewanderingarthistorianwordpress.com. Do the routine, like, comment, share, subscribe. And thank you. Thank you so much for coming back to the YouTube channel, for watching the videos, for sharing them with your friends, for liking them, and for sharing your thoughts with me because I love it. Thank you, you are awesome. My name is, name is Adrian Lee. You know me as the Wandering Art Historian, and I'll see you next time.